Hallo, hey, liebe Leute, und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Let's Play Life is Strange. In der letzten Folge haben wir herausgefunden, dass unsere Heldin Max äh, ein ganz besonderes Mädchen ist, denn sie hat besondere Kräfte und kann die Zeit manipulieren. Wir wurden nämlich Zeuge, wie, äh, wie ein, eine junge Frau von einem anderen Schüler der Universität äh, erschossen wurde, und wir haben das einfach anscheinend einfach rückgängig gemacht. Jetzt sind wir wieder in derselben Unterrichtsstunde, mit, mit der das Spiel schon begonnen hat, nach unserem ursprünglichen Albtraum, in dem wir diesen Wirbelsturm gesehen haben. Und jetzt wollen wir mal sehen, wie es weitergeht und wie Max dann jetzt mit ihren neuen Fähigkeiten umgehen wird. Schauen wir mal. Max, don't freak out. Not yet. Victoria? Why Arbus? Because of her My pencil case is still in the same place. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. She saw if it's tortured, still right? the same stupid picture, frankly, it's bullshit. so everything yeah. seems the same as before. Seriously though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of <laughs> you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? Wowzer, my old broken camera is I've new again. She chose to capture yeah. people at the height of their beauty or innocence. She had a brilliant eye, so... She could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Da seht ihr es schon rechts unten, Leute. Man ist in der Lage, dann Szenen auch zu überspringen, wenn man sie wiederholt und man die Zeit zurückdreht. Deswegen werde ich das wohl in Zukunft auch machen, wenn sich eine Szene wiederholt. Tja, was nehme ich denn da? Das. I'm sorry, I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. <lacht> But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular for the 1800s. Yeah, that's it. Yes, when we we can get information and then go back in time to collect the newly gained information. A pretty big advantage, I have to say. Eh, so, zack, neuer Versuch. Da seht ihr, jetzt haben wir eine neue Antwort dazu bekommen. Nehmen wir sie mal. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <laughs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Machen wir das mal. Ähm, ich denke mal, es hätte jetzt wenig Sinn, nochmal mit den Leuten zu reden, oder vielleicht? Machen wir es nochmal. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, uh, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. Just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. No matter who I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. Ja, es kann ja nicht schaden, dass man trotzdem ein bisschen Zeit für die Opfer da wir es ja gewissermaßen unendlich Zeit haben. Oh, totally. 
I only want to share whatever gifts I have. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. So, ich weiche nicht aus. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Okay, mal sehen, was passiert, ob wir noch eine andere Antwortmöglichkeit haben. I have with the world. Excuse me. Ah ja, <lacht> jetzt können wir, können wir mit dieser Antwort prahlen. Tja. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, <lacht> you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Ah, geil. Na gut, versuchen wir mal dieses Mädchen zu retten. Vielleicht kommen wir noch rechtzeitig an und können verhindern, dass, dass sie erschossen wird. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Genau. You know I don't tease. I hate that sign. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Get that. What are you doing? Fight. Come on, put that Ever thing down! Tell me what to do! I'm so I need sad. a hammer to break it open! Scheiße. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Ah. Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Shit! I need to rewind and do something fast. Ah, okay, seht ihr, das Zurückdrehen der Zeit hat keinen Einfluss auf uns. Also wir können immer noch all die Gegenstände behalten, die wir dann aufsammeln. Deswegen können wir jetzt rechtzeitig für Feueralarm sorgen. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. <laughs> that did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. Do not freak out. <laughs> Leicht gesagt, ne? aber unglaublich. Und wir haben das Mädchen gerettet. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. <laughs> Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Security an der Universität. Alles klar. Kann auch sein, dass der Typ einfach seinen Job zu ernst nimmt. Hm. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Tja, da haben wir unsere erste Entscheidung, die Konsequenzen haben wird. Ja. 
Ich denke mal, dass wir diesen Nathan, so heißt der Schüler offenbar, dass wir den mal melden werden. Ist natürlich ein ziemlich harter Tobak zu behaupten, dass er eine Waffe hat. Ne? Das sollte normalerweise nicht sein an der Universität, aber naja. Ich mach's einfach mal. Aber das Gute ist ja, die Entscheidung ist nicht endgültig. Wir können sie auch jederzeit rückgängig machen und uns nochmal genau überlegen und in uns gehen, was wir dann letztendlich wählen wollen. Aber ich bleibe erstmal bei... Ähm Oder machen wir es einfach mal so. Ich zeige euch mal, wie das ist. Verberge mal die Wahrheit und danach mache ich das rückgängig und werde mal die andere Methode wählen. I just got sick in class. Uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Genau, oben steht's schon. Das Schmetterlingssymbol bedeutet immer, dass wir, äh, dass unsere Entscheidung Konsequenzen hat, aber wir können das auf jeden Fall rückgängig machen und ich werde dann mal die andere Antwortmöglichkeit wählen. Oder was hättet ihr gewählt? Könnt ihr mir gerne in die Kommentare schreiben. Zack. You look a little so, dann werde ich jetzt mal Nathan melden. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes, he was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Hmm. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Yeah. Ihr habt jetzt beide Versionen gehört, welche würdet ihr wählen? Ich werde mal bei dieser Version bleiben, auch wenn das wahrscheinlich ja, nicht so gut ist, diesen Nathan zum Feind zu haben, aber naja. Mal gucken, wie es weitergeht. Ich bleibe bei dieser Entscheidung. Gehen wir raus, Leute. Schöne Atmosphäre. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. <lacht> Und es geht los. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Vermisst. Verschwunden aus Arcadia Bay. Vermisst seit Montag, dem 22. April 2013. Sonstiges. Alter 19. Größe 165 cm. Gewicht 50 kg. Haare blond. Augen Haselnussbraun. Tattoos eines Drachen auf der Wade und, einem und eines Sterns auf der Innenseite der linken, des linken Handgelenks. Rachel Amber, 19 Jahre. Wenden Sie sich mit Informationen bitte an Sheriff von Arcadia Bay. Tja, so ein junges Ding, ne? Nicht schön.
So, hier haben wir noch ein paar Leute. Ich glaube, mit denen können wir auch quatschen. Na, Miss Grant. Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. But would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Klar. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Hmm. Ein sehr aktuelles Thema natürlich. Überwachung gibt es ja hier auf der ganzen Welt und ist normal geworden. Aber an Schulen? Ja, ich weiß nicht. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage. From the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Ja, das werde ich mal unterschreiben. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Ja, die Tat Konsequenzen haben wir. Wir hätten jetzt auch noch die Möglichkeit, uh, unabhängig von der Konsequenz zurückzuspulen, um uns sämtliche Antwortmöglichkeiten anzuhören. Werde ich jetzt in diesem Fall mal nicht machen, weil das jetzt nicht unbedingt das interessanteste Gespräch ist, sage ich jetzt mal. Aber wenn ihr da neugierig seid, dann wenn das immer selber spielt, dann solltet ihr das auf jeden Fall tun. Denn ja, man erfährt äh, viele verschiedene Dinge, je nachdem, was man für Antworten ankreuzt ne? oder angibt. There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Hm. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with the Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. Hmm, was nehmen wir denn jetzt? Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. 
Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. Mm -hmm. And I'll deny I ever said that. I'm more confused than before. It's such a mystery. Let's talk later, Hayden. That it is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Hmm, sehr interessant. So, wen haben wir denn hier noch? Brooke. Brooke actually has a drone? <laughs> Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Hmm. Ich glaube, das mache ich mal rückgängig. Gib mal die andere Antwort an, mal sehen, was passiert. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. Okay, von ihr erfahren wir wohl nichts Neues. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Ah, wir haben was gekriegt und zwar eine SMS. Ich werde mir Warren's Text bevor er blows my phone up. Dann spule ich nochmal zurück. Beziehungsweise ich gehe nochmal nach oben. Willst du nach dem Unterricht einen Kaffee? Ich brauche eine Ausrede, nicht zu lernen. Bitte. <lacht> Sieht auf jeden Fall äh, äh, neck romantik auf meinem Stick an. <lacht> Mad Max, lass uns Kram in die Luft jagen. Ja. Yeah. Moment, ich muss für, muss für einen Physiktest befüllen. Wenn wir was in die Luft jagen, muss ich die Bahngeschwindigkeit messen. Ich ignoriere diese Nachricht nicht. Hi Max, kannst du Mensch Stick mitbringen? Brauche Info und Platz. Hallo? Sorry, bin spät dran. Verrückter Tag. Ich sehe dich auf dem Parkplatz, bin cool. Du wirst schon sehen. Meine Kamera ist bereit. Bis gleich. So, okay. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Genau, wir müssen noch den USB-Stick holen. Hier gibt es auch noch ein paar Leute, mit denen wir reden können. Aber ich würde sagen, Leute, das machen wir erst im nächsten Part. Ich würde mich freuen, wenn ihr wieder einschaltet. Und schreibt mir auch gerne, was ihr von Life is Strange schaltet. Und ob ihr es selber schon gespielt habt. Ich denke mal, viele haben es gespielt. Und die, die es nicht gespielt haben, ja, ich bin auf eure Meinung gespannt. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.